Here's the camera if you want to wave to all your adoring fans out there. What What's you up, Tamara, Miss Rara, Sugi Tan? And you have? I got five laps. Awesome. Well, welcome to Exotics Racing. My I'm name is Joe. excited. Joey. You're in the Nissan GTR. You're going to really love the car. We're out there driving both hands on the wheel at three and nine, okay? The left paddle. I drive a stick, so I, I'm used to having a... You know. Oh. This is not a... Um, a <laughs> yeah, station. I know. Yeah. So the left paddle downshifts the car. The right paddle upshifts the car. And you just pull them towards you. Okay. Just as they explained in the classroom, uh -huh. it's third gear for the whole track to wear on that front straightaway. Uh -huh. On the front straightaway, you use the right paddle to shift from third to fourth at 6,500 RPM. Okay. Now, uh, it's a non-lift shift system, so you don't have to lift off the gas when you're upshifting the car. Okay. Uh, when it comes time to brake, number one, you have to use the brakes, okay? okay. Uh, always initiate brake pressure while the car is traveling in a straight now, line. Now, I'm going too fast, do you have a brake? No, I have, I have nothing. My, you have nothing. My life is in your hands oh, and feet. <laughs> uh, you, I think you should say a prayer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So when it's time to brake, always initiate brake pressure okay. while the car is traveling in a straight line. All right. Once you're up to speed, though, proper technique is initial initial brake pressure's got to be rather hard okay. to slow the car down, okay? All right. So as you're approaching the entry of the corner, ever so slowly, right before you turn the wheel into the corner, slowly ease off the brake as you're steering into the corner. So you're never going to jerk the wheel. You always want to speed in the steering nice and smoothly and never jump right off the brake. Always release the brake slowly as you're steering. Does that okay. make sense? Uh -huh. Okay. Now be patient with the gas. Allow the car to turn before you get on the gas. Okay. Uh, if you get on the gas too early, that could lead us to flying off the track. Uh, or it, all, it could also lead us to spin out. So if any of those things happen, immediately slam on the brakes and stop the car, okay? okay. Um, very important to get the vision up and out. The farther ahead you're looking, the slower you seem to be going because you, you're giving your brain time to process what you see. So if we catch slower traffic, do not pass them or overtake them until I tell you when and where. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Now our first lap, we're going to do what's known in the industry as a reconnaissance lap. This is not a slow lap but it's also not a fast lap. This is a lap to get you comfortable with the car and also allow me to coach you through the corners. Okay. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Any questions? Uh, no. Okay. Um, yeah, that just went in one ear, not the other. No, oh, I'm just playing. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm used to that. Uh, I'm, I'm used to that. I'm just playing a play. <laughs> all right, so foot on the brake, push the top in, and pull her all the way down. All the way down? Yep. And we're in manual, so let's pull out nice and slowly. I want to rev this car. Can I rev the car? Uh, when we're out on the <laughs> It revs up quite nicely. Bye, Tracy! <laughs> so what do you do? Uh, I host a TV show in California on Comcast Sportsnet, a mixed martial arts show called American Cage Fighter. Oh, cool. And short shift to second, just pull the right paddle. The right paddle? Okay. There you go. This one? Okay, because I'm... And then pull the right paddle one more time. Okay. There we go, so now we're in thirds. We're just going to okay. leave it there. All right, you're clear. Can I go on fourth? Right now. Yeah, you're clear. Okay. And so as we're approaching turn one here, the double cones is where you break. The final cone on approach to every corner is your turn-in point, okay? So when you turn the car in, you want to turn it into those cones there. You can touch the curbing a little bit with the tires, and if you look through the corner, there's a cone to the outside, okay. which we want to drive That's where to. we want to yep. be. And then okay. steer right down into the apex, and then use all the road to the right as we exit. Now, at the double cones here, you don't have to brake. Just lift okay. off the gas and steer into the apex. And then as we exit, stay to the left, all the way to the left. There you go. Then you'll brake in a straight line. Final cone is where you steer into these cones here. And as you come out, come out to the middle of the road and then back over to the right. So at the double cones, you can break in a straight line. Final cone is your turning point. You'll steer right down into the apex. Throw those cones. And then if you look through the turn, we have a late apex to the right. This is going to require more steering input. Okay, got it. Because we want to get back over to the right-hand side. Okay. And here you'll just lift off the gas, no brake, steer into the apex. And then as we exit, we use all the road out to the right. Now go full gas. And then at the doubles, just lift off the gas, steer right into the apex. Very good. Now eyes up. You see that single cone right by itself? Uh -huh. Drive right to it. Once it gets there, steer into the... Oh, 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 oh. I thought we were leaving. Right. <laughs> then steer right into the apex and stay left. And then brake in a straight line. Steer right down into the apex. And then full gas, use all the brake. Pedal to the metal. 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 I don't need to shift anymore. Very nice, open the radius, look through the turn, steer right
right down to the apex and pedal to the metal. No gas, no brake. Relax, stay left, full gas, and brake at the doubles. Okay, got it. Steer right down to those cones and then pedal to the metal. Back over to the right. Very nice. Light brake pressure in a straight line. Turned a little early here, oh. so keep steering. Keep steering. Very good. Late apex to the right, so this is going to require that more steering. Okay, got it. Back over to the right, full gas. And then no gas. And into the apex. And full gas. Pedal to the metal. Pedal to the metal. Pedal to the metal. Pedal to the metal. And no gas. Into your apex. Eyes up. And we're right up to that cone. Once it gets there, slowly arc the car right down into the apex. Keep steering. Keep steering. Keep steering all the way to the left. Oh, we're in early. Oh, sorry. I was paying attention to my friend who was taking pictures right there. Yeah, I got you. I was Pedal looking for her. Pedal to the metal. It was great. Yeah. How did I do? You did great. Did, did I do really better than some of the fighters? Was, that really, that really, I that just want to know lap. if I did better than some of the fighters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually. No, no, I didn't. No, no, yeah. really, really. Because yeah. you rode in the car with Evan Denham. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you did very good. See, the, it's tough because with uh, this kind of, I've been in, I've been in the racing instruction industry for many, many years. Mm-hmm. You can't tell a guy how to drive. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Whereas women, they're more open to suggestion. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. You can't tell a guy how to shoot a gun, or you can't tell a guy how to fight, and you can't tell a guy how to drive a car. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> so women tend to be better students because they listen. Good job. Thank you. I'm all excited. Right. Thank you so much, Joey. Good job. Thanks. Did you have fun? I had a great time. Awesome. Excited. <laughs> 